Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. Um, I'm coming to you from my dungeon of an office again. Um, no good camera set up yet today. Um, working on it. I really wanted to have it um, ready to roll by this weekend, but I am missing a couple things that I need and obviously my still dealing with overhead lighting. Um, my lighting setup is not quite what it needs to be, so bear with me. Um, here we go. So, if you are returning from the first podcast, this is in fact podcast number two. Um, if you are returning, thank you so much for wanting to watch the next installment. Um, if this is your first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy. It is going to be a podcast about um, some knitting. Well, lots of knitting, let's be honest. Um, yarn and potentially some spinning every now and again. Um, I do have a spinning project. I probably won't share it today, but um, there will be hopefully some spinning at some point. Um, so yeah, like I said, podcast number two. It is, what is today? February 10th, 2018, and it is well, almost 5 o'clock, so I'm getting this done really late in the day. I actually recorded once already today, and um, for whatever reason, bits and pieces were kind of scattered and cut out or missing, so I'm trying it again. Um, I am, my name is Allison, and I am the hand dyer behind Lofty Loops Yarns. I am Lofty Loops on Instagram where I am most active and I'm sure most of you are coming from there to here to see this. Um, so hello! Thank you for following if you are a follower. Um, I am also on Ravelry as The Lofty Loops and I'm a handful of other places. I will put everything down below and in the show notes with links so if you guys want to find me you can check me out in those places. I am coming to you, like I said, from my office. Um, it is a work in progress. Um, you can see, whoop, I've got yarn stash happening, shop stash happening, acrylic yarn stash happening, <laughs> um, desk mess happening. So I am still putting together the pieces of my office after moving it downstairs to a larger room. So. Um, but for now, it's a quiet place, and um, I'm actually sitting on the floor because I thought I'd be more comfortable that way. So, um, let's get started. As far as administrati things go, there's not a lot. Um, I will not be sharing a shop update with you guys this week. I will be having a shop update February 16th. It's a Friday at 7 o'clock Central Time, um, 7 p.m., and as we get closer to that, I will be throwing things up on Instagram and sharing um, what will be happening there. You can also check it out um, by signing up for my newsletter as well through my website. Um, I always send out what will, what will be in the shop update, so you can check it out there. Um, because dye pots are in full action, so I don't actually have anything to show you right now. Um, however, the stock is still pretty, pretty well stocked, so if you want to check out what I have, um, please feel free to do so, and you can find that stuff at Lofty Loops, you can find that at LoftyLoopsYarns.com. Um, we are running a sweater along cal, and by we, I mean Cheryl with Hypnotic Yarn and myself. We kicked it off February 1st. I spoke about it in the first podcast, but we'll continue to speak about it throughout the the Cal running. Um, just as a reminder, and for any, if any latecomers want to join us, um, it is a sweater long Cal, so you can knit any sort of sweater you want. It can be a cardigan. Um, there are people knitting baby sweaters, so it does not have to be a full adult size sweater. There are also people doing just tops in general. Um, I believe a Tiga, Tega, does that sound right? Um, so it doesn't 
please feel free to not knit a standard, you know, raglan long sleeve sweater. Um, if it covers the top half of your body, then it's good enough for us. We're pretty loose with the rules. So when in doubt, just ask one of us and chances are um, you'll totally be able to join. Um, I really, I've never knit a sweater before, so I really wanted to post a cal to have that motivation behind it because I felt like if I didn't have anyone kind of pushing me to finish it, I would probably never finish it. So, um, so yeah, it's just fun. Um, come in, chat away. I have the chatter thread in my Ravelry group, which I will link below. And the FO thread is in Cheryl's Ravelry group, which you can find at Hypnotic Yarn if you search for groups on Ravelry. Um, let's see. No end date for that in sight yet. We're kind of shooting for maybe a three-month mark. Um, so February, March, April, maybe the 1st of May. Um, so, like I said, pretty loosey-goosey. So feel free to pop in and see if that's something you're interested in. All right, um, what I'm wearing, I am wearing my Grocery Girls, the girl from the grocery group, the girl from the grocery store shawl <laughs> that I showed last week on the podcast by Hokey Locatelli. And it is my go-to. I wear it all the time. I love it so much. Um, it is knit from Madeline Tosh and Cascade 220. And... And the first finished object I'm going to show you, I actually finished quite a long time ago, like July long ago. Um, but again, like I said, since this is the first few episodes, everything that I have that's finished can technically be a finished object, so I'm just going to kind of sprinkle them throughout the first few episodes. Um, so, without further ado, this is my Summertide shawl. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have seen photos from when it was actually finished and blocked out, and it's been hanging funky. I had it hanging on a chair for a little while, so some weird stretched out bits. Um, but for the most part, it just hangs up on my wall in my office, so. The yarn I used is my own hand-dyed Lofty Loops yarns. When I was first getting rolling with yarn dyeing, I ended up um, dyeing this purpley, kind of with blue speckles, um, just very kind of toned down purple. Um, it is obviously one of a kind, there's no way I could ever replicate this, um, but I wanted to use it right away, so I thought this was perfect, and then I dyed up this silver to kind of go along with, and I thought it would be a nice contrast. So yes, this is the Summertide Shawl by Helen Stewart. Um, you can find all the information on it in my Ravelry Projects page. Like I mentioned before um, in the last podcast, I take really good notes and keep track of the things that I'm working on. So anything you see that I'm currently working on or have finished there is going to be a corresponding project page for it. So, Summertide Shawl, I love it. It's gorgeous, it was so much fun. I did my lace section, I think I miscounted somewhere, so you can see um, it does look a bit funky, but no one else knows. I know, now you guys know, but honestly, it doesn't bother me. Um, it's very pretty very lacy and again I haven't really worn it I don't really have I don't know what I would wear it with um, to be honest I don't really get fancy ever um, but it is gorgeous and I love the colors and it was a very fun knit summertide shawl um, and the next thing I'm going to show you is so I was test knitting for Cheryl from Hypnotic Yarn, and I believe last week I mentioned it, but I didn't actually have the item with me because my daughter has stolen it and claimed it as her own, so I snagged it from her so I could show you guys this week. Um, but it is the Liana hat, 
Whoop. I'm trying to like work with the lighting here, so I apologize. Um, this is the Liana hat. And again, Hypnotic Yarn. Cheryl is the designer. It is available on her website or on Ravelry. And it was a very fast, very, very fast knit, uh, very fun knit. It's made up of these fun little yarn overs. Um, so yeah, it kind of, it keeps, it holds your attention basically. Um, and it gives a really nice texture and it's just adorable when my daughter wears it. And it's got a twisted rib for the cuff. It did have a floofy pom-pom on top if you saw the photos on my Instagram. However, I took the floofy pom-pom off because my daughter stole it and has been wearing it to school. Yeah. But I did not want anything to happen to it, so I may re-add it back at some point. But so far she has not requested it. So I do know Cheryl has kits available in her shop where you can get the pattern, you get a DK weight yarn, and you get a pom-pom with it as well. So check those out if that is something that you might be into. Um, this is my own hand dyed um, in my DK base and this is Red Pill Blues. So lots of speckles of red and blue. Um, some grays. So very pretty. And like I said, my daughter stole it. She loves it. Um, it fits her quite snug. She's 10. Um, oh. Alright, um, it's quite snug on her as a 10 year old. I have a big head in general, so it's very snug on me. Um, when I knit another one, I will probably go up either needle size or increase the stitch count a bit um, so it fits me better. I also might add another repeat in there, so it's a little bit slouchier because I do. I think we're on to whips. We just. drinking some Santa's Secret because, you know, it's dumping snow on us here in Nebraska, so why not drink some Santa's Secret? Oh, and Target. Am I right? So cute. Don't you just love when you're walking down the aisles of Target and you see something and you're like, okay, I have to have that, and then it jumps in your cart, and then by the end of the checkout process, you've spent, like, over a hundred dollars and you went in for literally one thing. I know I'm not the only one. And when the one thing is like toilet paper. Yeah, thanks Target. Let's see. Okay, so I'm not going to show you my exploration station. Um, it is still a work in progress, however, it has not had any progress, I don't think, maybe other than a row or two. Um, I've kind of put it on the back burner for now because I wanted to focus on my sweater, and I cast on another sock, so that's been getting the majority of my attention. Um, so, Exploration Station's gonna, just gonna hibernate for a little bit. So I guess first I'll show you living in the bag I created a while back. Um, I was just playing around. It definitely needs a little bit of help, but I still think it's cute and I still use it. So I got my little tea turtle. I love crafting octopus because I love crafting. But inside there is my campsite cardi. And this is as much progress as I've made. It doesn't look like a lot. However, I promise you it is for me. <laughs> um, I believe I only have a few more rows before I will be ready to separate for the sleeves. So once that happens, I know that the pattern repeat starts. Um, and at that point, it should just zoom. So it's just this very pretty tonal gray with little blips of blues and pinks in there. Um, very subtle. These were dyed up as a, well, a two of a kind. Um, I was just kind of playing in the dye pots and unfortunately I don't know if I'll be able to replicate it, but 
I might try just because I know this is going to take more than two skeins. Um, but I don't know how well I'm going to be able to replicate, so it may just end up, you know, like fading or something. Um, we'll see. I'm going to try to not drop it in my tea. So I love, like I said, first sweater, so I'm new to all this, but I love the increases. I just, I love that detailing. It's so pretty. Um, I just can't stop staring at it. I know my feet are falling asleep because... I'm sitting on the floor. I am knitting these on some Addy Rocket Laces in a size 8, which is what the pattern calls for. Um, up until yesterday, I was knitting on Clovers because that is all I had, and they were driving me absolutely bonkers. I'm not a big fan of wooden needles in general, and Clovers are just like, I can't even handle it. But you know when you're in need and Michael's is the only thing that's open, what do you do? You go pick up some clovers. Um, so these, these Addies are working out much, much better, much quicker. Um, it slides so much better on metal. So this is really zooming along. And I won't keep like throwing it in your face, but I made a good bit of progress on it. I've got a little marker on here so I know I think I had eight more rows from where I put the marker before I could separate for the sleeve so I'm about three rows off. So hopefully I will be able to do that this evening. And I'll show you the destroyed cake because it's just literally just falling apart at this point. <laughs> Um, and here is the second skein. So just a really pretty gray with little blips of some speckles in there. And I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that I can replicate it. We'll see. I might just do something crazy and fade into like a blue or a pink or... Because why not? It's my cardigan, right? As long as I think it's cute enough to wear, that's all that matters. Um... So yes, that's Campsite Cardi. Please come join us if you would like to knit your own, if you're knitting, if you're already working on a sweater, if you started a sweater and you dumped it in the corner of your room or something and you need to pick it back up. Um, whips are allowed. If you started before February 1st, that's okay. Just join us and have fun. There will be prizes of the hand knit variety. Um, or, <laughs> The hand dyed variety, not the hand knit. Sorry guys, I'm not knitting you prizes. We all know I'm a selfish knitter. My next whip that you guys saw last week is my Sugar Plum Fay socks. And last week I was where the Progress Keeper is. Progress Keeper is by Sugar Tots on Etsy. It's a little donut little glittery donut. Um, I had the heel in. It's a Fish Lips Kiss heel. I had that in last time I showed you, but I think I was just beyond the heel. So I put about a couple inches in it. Um, and last night, actually, we were watching TV and we had the lights off. And um, this is usually my go-to when I need just something vanilla to knit on without having to think about increases or decreases or patterns or anything like that, I just can zoom. So I did the majority of that progress um, last night. So these are going, but they have been put, again, on the back burner. Um, they're not my main focus, even though I love them. I'm knitting these on a pair of US 1s, DPNs. And I do have one of these sock sets available in the shop right now. So it's the exact same as this. It comes with a full skein of Sugar Plum Fay, as well as a 20 gram coordinating mini, which comes in this light brown color. So it's the exact same set. So if you're in, if you like this and you want some just like it, 
There is still a kit in the shop as we speak. No promises by the time this is up, though. And that is living in my Sugar Tots bag with the little nutcrackers. I'm drinking Santa's Secret and I'm working out of a nutcracker bag because why not? And I also wanted to show you this. I did not show you this last week, but inside this bag, and it kind of jumps around from bag to bag, but my last fiber share swap I did, my swap partner sent me this cute little bag of lavender, and it just smells delicious. So there's dried lavender in here. She painted these flowers on this little burlap or canvas bag. And it's just the best. Um, she's so sweet. I think she said she wanted to start making these and selling them in an Etsy shop. And I don't know if she did yet, but if she did, um, I'll put I'll put it down below and in the show notes. And I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. It just smells so yummy in here. And um, like I said, it jumps around from bag to bag with me. So um, it just makes everything smell so nice. So thank you for that if you're watching. Um, Fiber Share is so much fun if you guys haven't done it before. Um, this will be my fourth, third, third or fourth um, Fiber Share swap that I am participating in. I've done it every time they've opened it since. So I think it's been twice a year for the last couple years. Um, Signups are closed, swaps will be going out, swap packages will be going out, I believe, by the end of this month. Um, and then, I think the end of summertime or early fall, they they do another swap. So, keep an eye out. Um, sorry, throat's really dry. Keep an eye out for that and get in on it if you can. It only costs $7 to sign up. And that $7 is going to cover... Um, it basically is just holding your spot and it's paying um, the couple ladies that are running it for their time to go through and match up so many people. I think they had, I want to say like 2,300 signups this last time. Um, that's a lot of people to have to coordinate. So $7 in my opinion is very cheap for that. Um, and the stipula stipulation is you get signed up with a partner and they have filled out their likes, their hobbies, um, color preferences, stuff like that. And then you will send them at least 200 grams of yarn or fiber and along with anything else that you want to send them. Um, again... You know, hashtag FiberShare on Instagram will show you so many different packages. Um, it's just a blast, and I get some of the best stuff, and I get to send some of the best stuff, and I make new friends, and um, it's just fun. I highly recommend it. And actually, under my coaster, one of my partners from a couple swaps ago, her husband, her, her husband made the logo. I believe she made the coasters, but I got two of these, and they're wood. How awesome is that? So cool, right? See? So, definitely keep that in mind. And I'm going to get back on the whip bus because tangents. <laughs> so I mentioned that I have a new sock that I cast on. And I actually, this is the second time I've casted it on. The first time I worked on it for about that far, and then I frogged it. Um, I was working, I was working on a pattern that I really had wanted to knit for a long time, but the pattern plus the colors in the sock, um, they just weren't working well together. So I knew that I really loved the yarn. Um, but it needed to be a simpler pattern and vice versa. The pattern needed a simpler yarn. They were just fighting each other. Say that either one of them aren't fantastic because they both are and they will both have their respective projects soon. So 
this is my, it's called my mystery sock on Ravelry. And I call it my mystery sock because it is knit out of the mystery, January mystery colorway from Cat Sandwich Fibers Club, monthly club. And she is actually running a a sock along in her Ravelry group where if you knit one sock, just a hoe, if you knit just one sock in the month or the month after or something within a month of receiving that month's club colorway. So, okay, that made a lot of sense. This was January's club and I have until the end of February to finish one sock to enter her sock along and be eligible for a prize. So, <coughs> excuse me. So as you can see, the yarn is just gorgeous and it has this fantastic micro stripe and it was just fighting so much with the pattern that I was working. So it needed to be, I wanted it to be vanilla, but I didn't want it to be just vanilla. Um, so I'm doing a modified socks on a plane where I'm just doing the little bit of a cable just along the edge. And I just love it so much. It's just giving it a little bit of fun to keep me going. Um, and the parts that are just plain stockinette are so pretty. So I'm really glad that I frogged and started over. Um, and I am still working on the gusset decreases, but I did a I have partridge heel. Again, breaking from my norm of doing a toe up, fish lips kiss, but I just, I switch it up. These are magic loop, the others are DPN. I have knitting ADD. <laughs> um, but I'm really enjoying this. And this color is just so pretty. And it's so perfect for February. And it is called Mr. and Mrs. B by Cat Sandwich Fibers because she based it off of her wedding colors. So how pretty. Here's her little, her adorable little label. Cat Sandwich Fibers. Look at how cute the little cat sandwich is. <laughs> and it is her trusty sock base, which is a 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. And again, this was her January club color, so if you didn't sign up for January, I don't know if it'll be available again, um, but I highly recommend hopping aboard the train. I've already got February ordered, so I'll be getting another one, and then I'll probably have to do another ho <laughs> um, by the end of March, so. Um, but yeah, too much fun, and I love it so much. It's been getting all of my attention, um, and it is living in my Sugar Tots, surprise, <laughs> uh, my Sugar Tots sushi bag. Buy Sugar Tots on Etsy and Frosted Betty's on Instagram. And it's got a Love Your Junk pin by Junk Yarn. I have a pink one on another bag that I showed you that my exploration station's in. I showed you that last week, I think. Um, but I couldn't decide between the pink and the black, so I had to get both. So I put the black one on there. And then I've got a, a foxy nerd, also from Tea Turtle, when I got the um, Crafty Octopus. <laughs> so, super cute. The last thing I want to show you is a longtime whip. Um, it is my Cozy Memories blanket. I think every sock knitter, or sock knitter, every knitter in general has one of these on the go. Um, I haven't worked on mine in a while. I need to pick it up again. Um, I believe Kay, who is, um, is it Crazy Sock Lady? Crazy, yes. Sorry, I should know this. My brain, it's late in the day, I'm telling you. Um, she mentioned that she is doing a Scrappy Sunday, which I think sounds like a fantastic idea, where she just designates Sundays to work on her Scrappy projects. Um, 
So I don't know that I'm going to fully commit my entire Sunday, <laughs> but I definitely think I could take an hour or two out of my Sundays to sit down and work on my scrappy blanket because it needs some love. And really, these squares don't take that long. Uh, so I'm not going to go through every square and every yarn that's in here because you guys can check that out on my Ravelry project page. Um, as I add a square, I add just a line to the description with the last bit of yarn that I added. Some of them are <clears throat> my own. Some of them are from socks that I finished. Some of them are from swaps. Some of them are from I did a Get Your Yarn, which is granted last year, um, this last Christmas, and asked for minis. Um, so some of them are mysteries <laughs> because they just came in the mail. Um, and I have my little, my little Star Lord hanging out on there. I love him. I love my little Star Lord and my little Groot. Um, so, 12? 12 squares isn't too bad. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to put more of a dent in this on Sunday, tomorrow. Um, at least get another square in there. Because like I said, I asked for minis, um, and I got so many minis. So thank you everyone for sending me your scraps. Um, but I have my sweetness from my Thanksgiving socks I just tossed it on top. And again, just random. This is just a few that I have shoved in the bag. So lots of things to add. And it is living in my Studio in the Green bag that I received a couple years ago for Get Your Yarn Wishes Granted. Um, and it's got a little Nightmare Before Christmas pin because Jack and Sally rock my life. Um, but yeah, this is a great little bag. Ooh, it's gonna end up in my teeth. <laughs> Get out. Um, it's got a zipper divider in there, and it's really for two at a time socks. Um, but right now I just have it shoved full of minis. Little balls. Alright, so that's all I have for works in progress. Um, again, like I said, I'm really focused on my campsite cardi for our cow because I don't want that sweater to take me an eternity to knit. And um, I really want to get through this first sock for um, MJ's sock along so I can enter that. Um, so yeah, next I'm going to share with you just a couple stash acquisitions um, I've made recently. Um, not a lot. I have some coming in the mail that I'll share probably with you next week. Um, but I did get some fun mail. So the first thing I want to share with you, um, speaking of fiber share, I picked up a couple things for my fiber share partner. And as I was ordering for them, I ordered something for me um, because I've been meaning to order from this dyer for a really long time and I just, for whatever reason, it hasn't happened yet. Um, so I went ahead and purchased something for myself. Um, I'm not going to show you the rest of everything that came because then I would be spoiling my fiber share partner swap if they happen to watch this. So. Um, but I have to tell you that the other piece is just as fantastic and I love it so, so, so much. Um, but this is Grandpa's Farm Truck by Artistic Lily. This is in her Yay Singles Base. Come on, lighting, work with me here. So yeah, I've been wanting to order 
something from her shop for a really long time because a lot of the things um, I see on Instagram I just I love I love her colors I just I love I just I really enjoy it so I'm really happy to have this um, thank you thank you and I hope that my fiber share partner loves what they're getting um, she did specifically mention that in her um, yarn she's been drooling over a section she mentioned artistic lily so I hope that I the colors I picked for her is what she wants um, but you really can't go wrong because everything is fantastic and Yesterday I popped into Yarn Charm, which is my local yarn shop, because I needed to throw those clover needles to the curb, and I picked up those Addies, um, which I'm so happy with. Um, major difference. While I was there, I was chatting with Leslie. Hello, Leslie. And um, she had made Valentine kits with another local dyer, um, local to Lincoln. And I had mentioned a while back that I really would like to have one. Um, it's a bag yarn combo kit for Valentine's Day. And so I snagged that while I was there too. And I'm so happy I did. But here is the Valentine bag. And it's just the cutest little patchwork. Valentine's, look at those little owls. Some sparkly fabric. And Leslie, I adore it. It's so perfect. And actually, I should move my cat sandwich sock over to this because it would match the bag perfect. But this is here's her little tag, handmade by Leslie. And she is 28th Street on Instagram. So give her a follow. I don't know for sure if Yarn Charm is the only place you can buy her bags. I know she has a lot of them at the shop. I don't know whether or not they are listed online to buy through the shop. Um, I could be wrong. And Leslie, please correct me if I am. <laughs> but if you are in Lincoln or Omaha or surrounding areas and you want to take a road trip down to Lincoln, you should definitely do that. And check out her bags. Um, not today because we're covered in snow. And not tomorrow either because it's going to be just as bad. <laughs> Sometime soon when the weather is in a giant cluster. Um, but like I said, it came with a little sock set from Indigo Boulevards, who is local to Lincoln. And I'm really excited to try out her stuff. So just this really pretty lavender and teal and some pinks with a dark purple mini. So that is really fun and I'm really looking forward to using it. It is a 7525 Superwash Merino in nylon and it is 70 grams. So I'm guessing that this is probably 50 and this is 20, which should be enough for me to knit a pair of socks out of. So yeah, that is Indigo Boulevards, and she is on Instagram as well, and I believe she just started selling through Etsy, um, but Yarn Charm carries her yarn there also. So, thank you ladies. I'm so glad I picked it up, and like I said, if you're in the area, please stop by, um, give them a holler, see what they have to offer. Um, I'm carrying my yarn, or they're carrying my yarn in there as well. Um, and they have a whole wall of local dyers, so so please, please, please check them out if you're in the area. Um, but otherwise, I think that's all I have for you guys. I don't have anything to show you as far as shop update goes. Um, like I said, I'm just, everything is getting dyed, so I don't have anything to physically show you. Um, but that shop update will be again February 16th at 7 p.m. Central Time. It is a Friday night. Um, that's kind of the time that is working for me and it seems to work for others as well. Um, they definitely are not 
I don't sell out Friday night. Um, there is still things in the shop from last update, so um, please don't feel rushed. Um, I know sometimes people don't like the weekly or bi-weekly shop updates because they feel like they have to be there and they get cart jacked and believe me as a yarn purchaser I know the feeling um, it's frustrating so I sporadically tend to throw things in the shop um, as well as try to have a larger update that way it gives you guys kind of a heads up to see what's coming um, but on the same token there are things that have gained quite a bit of popularity and so they sell out rather quickly um so if there's something you've been eyeballing you might want to be there for the update um because there are no promises that they'll hang around um through the weekend but um if you want to know what's coming in the update please follow me on instagram i'm at lofty loops um i always post um, previews of the batches that are heading to the shop and you can also sign up for my mailing list um, my newsletter and I always send out here's what's coming um, so you guys can be informed of that and see if there's anything in there that you like or that you want to be there for um, sign up this can be done through the website um, right, so I think I'm just gonna kind of chatter a bit about what's been going on and honestly there hasn't been a lot going on in my life in the last week or so just dying a lot um I have some special news that I can't share out loud yet um but my husband and I have been plowing through the new girl again because we just needed kind of another one of those mindless shows to turn on and you know, you watch a few episodes in the evenings, and um, it's just fun to laugh at. We used to watch it all the time, and then something happened, and we fell off watching it. I think we just didn't pick up when the next season came out, um, so we aren't caught up with what's happened most recently. So I'm like, well, I know another season's coming, so let's just start at the beginning, and it's on Netflix, so why not? Um... So we've been doing that, which has been a lot of fun because it's hysterical. Um, I've also been watching Altered Carbon on Netflix with um, my brother. My brother and I are watching that together. So he's been coming over um, about once a week, and then we'll watch a few episodes of that. And so last night, I believe we got through episode five. So we're halfway through the season, and holy moly, it's so good. It's so not what I expected. Um, I am, I've been put on the hold list for the ebook through my library, um, because I didn't realize it was based on a book. Um, but I'm really excited to read it because I really am enjoying the show. Um, and probably by the time my turn even comes up to have the book, I'll have finished the first season. Um, so that'll be really fun. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I use the Overdrive app where you can rent books or check out books from your local library, but through the app um, if you're not familiar with it, which is fantastic. Um, you don't actually have to go into the library and pick up a physical book, even though at times I love holding a book in my hands. 90% of the time, 95% of the time, I'm reading on my phone. Um, and it works on a Kindle also, I believe. So um, so yeah, you just you can get on and you put in your library card information and you can search for ebooks and audiobooks, which is really nice. Um, the only downside is it's like a real library where they only have a certain number of copies. So if they're all checked out, you get put on a wait list. Um, and of course, with the the season coming out on Netflix, I'm sure everyone wants to read the book right now. So I think I'm like seventh in line. Um, usually, if that's the case, I end up breaking and I just buy the book. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, still working my way through the Game of Thrones books. So I'm still on book two. <laughs> um, I just pick it up every now and again. I read some more and then I put it down and then I read some more. And I don't know why it's taking me so long. I've been reading book two for like two years um 
I just need to finish. I just need to go. I just need to do it. Um, I'm all caught up with the show, so... And I was rereading Outlander. I just... I. It's like knitting. I have way too many things happening at once. I can't just commit to one. Yeah, I love to hear book suggestions. Um, please share. I have a running list of things that I want to read. Um, I'm really into... Really, I read a whole variety of books, um, but mostly mysteries, kind of sci-fi. Um, I like thrillers. I like suspense. Um, and at the same time, I like the gushy romances, too. So um, nothing's off the table. I read pretty much anything you put in front of me. So I'd love to hear your suggestions as I wait for Alter Carbon to um, be checked out to me. I'd love to read something in the meantime. All right, so that's all I have for you guys this week. Um, hopefully next week I'll be much further on my sweater and maybe I'll have that sock finished. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so yeah, go ahead. If you're enjoying the, the podcast, um, please hit the subscribe button. Um, give it a like if you like it. If you have... If you didn't like it and you have constructive criticism, not just being a douchebag, um, please comment below and I will take any and all feedback um, because obviously I don't know what I'm doing and this is going to continuously progress and hopefully I get better. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear your suggestions or feedback. Yeah, till next time. Happy knitting!